magnificent in its destruction, proud in its downfall, and silently facing the ravages of time. These are the ruins of Hampi in the southern Indian state of Karnataka. The city was pillaged and burnt in 1565 AD after the combined attack of armies of Muslim Sultanate of the Deccan defeated the Vijayanagar military commander and the king fled the capital. Although in ruins today, this capital city once boasted riches known far beyond the shores of India. The ruins lie scattered in about 16.15 square mile amidst giant boulders and vegetation and silently narrate the story of its past grandeur, splendor and fabulous wealth. The city was well planned with elaborate fortification. Irrigation system of the empire with its network of canals was the engineering marvel of its time and was one of the main reasons of its prosperity. As in all Hindu civilizations, temples were an integral part of the Vijayanagar Empire. Temple architecture was characterized by exquisite ornamental carving. Older than the Vijayanagar Kingdom itself is a majestic Virupaksha temple. Nearby is a 6.7 meter tall monolith of Ogranarsimha, which was hewn from a single boulder in 1528. The most splendid monument of Hampi is undoubtedly the Vitila temple complex with its 56 musical pillars. One cannot stop wondering at the ingenuity of its architectural marvel. Made of rock, the pillars of the temple produce a soft musical sound with every knock. In front of the temple is a famous stone chariot with its stone wheels that actually revolve. One salient feature of the architecture here was extensive use of granite as the building material. Hospit, just 8 miles from Hampi, acts as a base for tourists visiting Hampi. The nearest airstrip at Turnagulu in Sandur Taluk is 19.8 miles from Hospit. The nearest railhead is at Hospit. 217 miles from Bangalore, Hampi is well connected by road. The best time to visit Hampi is between October to March. Accommodation is available between 10 to 20 US dollars. Visit the temples or gaze at the rocky landscape with its winding river. The ruins captivate the visitors with a tale of great creativity and senseless destruction. <laughs>